here we have three blocks of wet ice. Since they're blocks of wet ice, we can ignore the friction between the ice and the, the table. Somebody comes here and uh, pushes with this horizontal force F. So the blocks, they accelerate to the right at 5 meters per second squared. We're looking for the pushing force and uh, the normal force between the 1 kilogram and the 6 kilogram blocks. So we already have the direction of acceleration. We just have to draw the force diagram next. Here we have a pushing force we are looking for and we're looking for this normal force. So even though we have three blocks, we do not have to draw three force diagrams because uh, it won't matter if this is a, a four kilogram block or it's two blocks combined. So we can put these two in a black box and treat this problem as if you have four kilogram and six kilogram. So we're going to do this, this whole thing as one block for convenience because there's no need to separate the two. Okay, so let's draw the force diagram. For the six kilograms, we have mg going down and this block is touching two surfaces this one and that one there. For this one, there is no friction, but, but there is a normal force from the table pushing up on the block. So there is a normal force, and this is not the same as that normal force, so I'm just going to label this as the normal force from the table. And then for this contact surface, the contact surface pushes on the ice block, so it pushes on the 6 kilograms that way. The normal force goes to the right. There is no tendency to slide along this surface. So there is no friction. So that's it for the force diagram. No other forces because the 6 kilogram block is not touching anything else. Now this will be the 4 kilogram block. For the 4 kilogram block, the mg is 40 now this block is touching three things, the pushing force, the surface, and the bottom. So the pushing force, we don't know. And uh, this contact surface has normal force that way. This normal force and that one here, they are equal and opposite action force and reaction force. So this goes that way and they are equal but opposite. No friction here either. Let's look at this surface. Gives you no more force upward. No friction. So, that's it. Okay, We have two-dimensional situation. That means uh, we just have to do X and Y, the horizontal and vertical, separately. So let's look at just the x direction first. We have to write the net force equals to ma. For the 6 kilogram box, the acceleration goes to the right, and we don't have to worry about the vertical forces yet because we're just looking at the horizontal direction. The normal force is the only one, so the net force is the normal force. Nothing is canceling with it. So this equals to the 6 kilograms m times a. The acceleration is 5. The horizontal direction, that's the x acceleration. So this means the normal force is 30 newtons. We found the first one. And uh, for the 4 kilograms, the acceleration goes to the right. That means the rightward force must be bigger. So you can do the bigger side minus the smaller side, F minus Fn equals to M times A. So this equals to 20, and of course the, this is a 30, so F minus 30 equals to 20. The pushing force there must be 
50 newtons. What if you chose to do the whole system? If you had chosen the whole system to do the force equation or in force diagram, then see the whole system you would have an mg that is uh, 100 newtons. All of these added together is 10 kilograms. And then this whole system is touching the table, so you got a normal force going up. And that's the normal force from the table. Oh, earlier here, I forgot to write label. That's the table. And uh, they are not the same normal force. So I can label this as the normal force is on the 6 kilograms. This one is the normal force from the table for the 4 kilograms. This for the whole system, this is the normal force from the table for the 10 kilograms. So these three, they are not the same, but those two, they are the same. Because these two, they're referring to exactly the same surface right there. Okay, back to the whole system. You got the, we got the mg and the normal force from the table. This whole system is also touching the pushing force F. So if for the whole system, if I write the force equation in the x direction, I would have the net force is F only, nothing else, equals to M times A. The mass would be 10 kilograms. The acceleration is 5, so here you can find the, normal, the pushing force is 50 newtons. To find the normal force over here. See this normal force is uh, an internal force. It's the force between the boxes pushing on each other. So when you do the force equation for the whole system, you're putting everything in a black box. That means that uh, you won't be able to find any internal forces. So to find the internal force, you will have to choose separate boxes to write about. So if you chose to do this one first, then you can still do this one and find the 30 or do this one and then you know plug in the F as 50 and you'll be able to find normal force is 30. Which means that basically you can choose any two of the three to solve for your two unknowns. And just in case if you haven't noticed, we never use the Y direction because this acceleration is the horizontal direction. It has nothing to do with the y forces. And what do you think is the acceleration in the vertical direction? Since the acceleration is completely horizontal, it doesn't have any vertical component. The vertical acceleration will be zero. That means the upward and downward force must be equal. This normal force must be 40. That normal force must be 60 because it's 6 kilogram. This normal force must be 100 newtons. We just didn't need to find them.